The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Pankaj. Uh, we'll be waiting for another two minutes to allow that uh, other attendees to join in. I'll be back in two minutes. Thank you. Hello guys, thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Pankaj Shukla. I'm the functional consultant working with CloudFront's technology. So a couple of housekeeping points before we start with our webinar. Uh, all the attendees are kept on a mute mode, so we have a proper audio. And uh, yes, if you guys have any particular questions, you can always put down your questions into the questionnaire section in GoToWebinar, and I'll try to answer while proceeding with my webinar, or else I'll get back to you on an email with regards to your question. So uh, the today's webinar is based on Clicks Dimensions 2016 release preview, uh, sorry, overview. And um, as the previous webinar was also based on Click Dimensions. So the agenda today we have got is campaign automation, where we'll be seeing creating a dynamic and customized campaigns, which will be automated using drag and drop triggers, timers, and actions. Streamline with the nurture campaigns, we'll be seeing the series of actions and the new features, which is one of the decision nodes, which is really very, very useful. We're talking on that. And then we will talk like tra track the prospects as they proceed through your campaign automation. And then we are going to see uh, with the Power BI content pack, C event integrations, which is an event management platform and message connector, which is used for sending bulk SMS as in marketing. So without wasting much of time, let's jump to our uh, environment. So Easy App, again, an, a fictitious company, which is uh, into a business similar like to CloudFront's technology, providing solutions to that. So as uh, we have already got our previous webinar, which was based on campaign automation, where we saw that how we create an email templates and then we'll be associating it to your com campaign automation. I'll be directly jumping jumping to the campaign automation creation. So go to your marketing, under marketing you'll see campaign automation. So here you'll be able to see all the campaign automations which has been uh, done by the Easy App. So we are going to create a new one, click on the new. Here, give a name to your campaign automation, let's call it uh, new product launch. And uh, you know that we can always associate it to any particular product launch, let's associate it to the PMS product launch, which is one of the product launch by CloudFront technology. And then click on save. You see that these are the functionalities get activated. Now we need to go to the open builder, which will open the platform where we are going to create our automation. So towards your extreme right side, you could see that there are triggers and series. Trigger is like what you want to use to trigger your automation when it should start. Either you can use an email interaction or a submitted form on your website. Someone fills out and then he should be associated to a particular campaign automation. So we are going to use in a similar way a submitted form. Once you click on the submitted form, Double click on and you see the properties where you see that the display name is submitted form one which you can change it. And uh, select form, it will give you an option to select all the forms which has been created by you. 
So let's go ahead and see. Okay, let's let me click on event register. If someone is registering for any particular event and fills out that particular form, he should be associated to this particular campaign automation. Now we have got the trigger button for this particular campaign. Now we need to add a series. So what is this? The Easy App is launching a particular product called as a service quick start and they have got around four different locations like US East, US West and US Central. So they want any particular person filling out that form and if he selects a particular option like US East, he should be directly to the US East sales manager. So these are the nodes which you need to connect from green dots and here if you see that this is a purple node which is called as a decision nodes. So what I will do that I wanted to just show you how you drag uh, the triggers and the series. I have already created a campaign automation uh, for a service quick start product which has been launched by Easy App. I'll take you to that particular thing and uh, I'll show you all the functionalities over there. a couple of minutes okay so we are here it takes a bit time to get it loaded okay I hope you guys are able to all just minimize the screen to so that we are able to see all the triggers and series so here is the service quick start form which is uh, attached to it uh, so I'll just show you the form how it looks So this is the form which has been designed using click dimension and it is also associated to the same campaign where the campaign automation is associated. Yes. So it, it is quite drag and drop for creation of this form. You don't need to be an HTML guru to uh, create a form. Let me show you the preview. So if any particular client lead lands up to this particular page where he fills out his details and when he selects US, or his location, US East, US West, US Central, APAC, AMA, and submits the form, then these are the, uh, if he submits US East, he should go to the US East series and this is a decision node. If I click it, you will be able to see that it says that you assist over here, you get an option to uh, send that particular lead coming across who is selecting your assist where the submitted form is, what region are you located in equals to your assist. He gets directed to the US East series. And uh, in US East series, once again, we have got what particular action should be taken in that particular series. I mean, once someone fills out the form, he lands onto the US East by the uh, decision node. If you double click it, we come to that. The first thing which happens in this particular automation is that as soon as the lead fills out the form, we have got a assigned to user. You can assign it to that particular user in US East region and then notify him an email is sent out to Alan Matthew if you could see to your extreme left you can select whichever user you want to assign it and then notify him hey hello uh, a new lead has been created for service quick start and you can type down your customized message to follow on that or send an email and then we have also got a timer wait for two days where I've said you know, uh, so that after waiting for two days, an email is sent out to that particular lead who had filled out the form, regards to the detailed information, what all things are included in the service quick start solution. And this is the step which we'll be repeating for uh, all the series, US East, US West, 
US West APAC and UK EMA. And once an email is sent out to a particular uh, lead who filled out the form, you want to see that what sort of an interaction has happened with that particular email. If the email was sent out to Pankaj Shukla, did, uh, you, you can trigger a type if, if the particular person has clicked that email or if he has opened that email. And in your email, there would be like a couple of links, what particular link he has clicked, Based on that decision, you can decide his further path in your click, uh, campaign automation. So here you see that two paths. One is with the green one and the other one with the purple one. The green one is a positive path. If the particular person has interacted with that particular email, he has uh, clicked on particular links or opened that email, then you want, and with that particular information, what was in that email you will engage a pre-sales consultant what is he have had done he the, the, a, a follow-up call is done a pre-sales consultant is uh, associated to that particular lead and asks him to deal to complete the business further let me go back and what happens if the particular person is not opening an email so what we do we send him a, uh, into a week two nurture we are going to follow the same steps again where he will be again send up and wait for one day and then a particular newsletter will be sent across or you can send him what are the benefits of service quick start or if there is any other particular product launch and again after that you are going to see uh, if there is that particular email, if the lead is interacted if, with that particular email, whether he has clicked it or not. And if he has clicked or uh, the interaction has been done, then again it goes positively and you will engage a pre-sales consultant to that particular lead who will take further from there. And again, if the particular person, he, he's not, he has not clicked the link, then you do a weak nurture program for third week where again you will send him a particular newsletter or a webinar at registration attendees depending upon your business requirements and if he interacts over there then again uh, if the email he, you know if you send him an email or he attended your webinar there is sort of an interaction then he will be again go to the positive path where he will be engaging with a pre sales consultant or else you will end the campaign and remove him from the list so this was all with regards to the campaign automation and there is a couple of more features which is uh, on a release in this April 2000 which is still in a beta phase but would I would say that as soon as a particular contact enters in and fills out the uh, submit a form you'd be able to see a statistics where you'll be able to see where that particular participant is uh, as right now we can see that there is zero active zero completed because still uh, no one has filled out that particular form I mean they have filled out the form but they haven't received the email as you say the waiting day was, was for two days but we'll be able to see all the participants who has filled out the form you can see that the name timeline status is completed they have filled the form and these all entities leads they have been created as a lead in our direct in CRM and if there was already a contact they are said that this contact already existed so this was all about campaign automations and uh, initially I have also written a descriptive detailed description with regards to the campaign automations because you know it's over here we have not used all the functionalities if you see in builders you can also over here you'll be able to add a workflows in particular sales suppose let's take this is you can send an email or if you want to add them to a particular marketing list or if you want to remove them from a marketing list you can assign them create a task activity like phone call or sending an email and even you can put a workflow to them or you can also notify to a whole team So this was all with regards to the campaign automation. Now we are going to see uh, uh, with a new feature which has been launched by Click Dimension is called C Event Integration. C Event Integration is uh, one of the event management where you uh, create your events and there's uh, an entity called as Event and Event Participants. If you can see it's under your event management. 
but how do you connect it c event uh, sort of is one very similar to go to webinar as we used to connect if we suppose right now if we are sending an webinar invitation you know, through a go to webinar it has got uh, the integration uh, with click dimension where automatically all the events created in GoToWebinar is uh, captured in your CRM where you can see the list of all the events. So it is done through the connectors. We need to go to the settings, click dimension settings, click on connectors. These are all the connectors which are already associated with EasyApp CRM, Eventbrite, GoToWebinar, MessageNet. I'll be coming to MessageNet in a while. And you click on Add, and it gives you a list of all the connectors available for click dimension. RSS to email, WebEx, Twilight text messaging, C event, bulk SMS texting, Eventbrite, GoToWebinar. So, if any particular event is getting created in C event, we will be able to see those events over here and all the participants if they are, suppose this is a sample webinar which is created using GoToWebinar, you'll be able to see that number of registrants are seven and said, you know, details with regards to that particular webinar. You can see a number of registers are seven and then there is a Power BI feature deep dive which is going to happen in a couple of days. You have got number of registrants and then you get a details of every particular individual of how many of them have attended, how many of them have attended for how long. So over here you can see name and list of all the event participants with their details. Now coming up to MessageNet. MessageNet is one of the tool which is used to send a bulk SMS. So we have connected it using the same connector going to the settings. You need to be, uh, you need to have an account with MessageNet and then go to the click dimension settings. Go to the connector as we have done. Just fill out your credentials while creating your account with MessageNet connectors and you know what particular field you want to have. The lead mobile field is mobile phone, contact mobile field is mobile. You'll be able to select different options over here. Now our country code is India plus 91. We use that. Fill out your credentials, save it and it gets connected and then you go to your marketing under mobile bulk text SMS. So this is one of the things which I have created service quick start with discounted price over here and uh, it helps you to add any particular marketing list or a particular lead to whom you want the SMS to be sent over. So you click on plus, you can add your marketing list and it will add it to you can create a static or dynamic list and then you type your message contents over here for registering service quick start and then you click on send. So I have already actually um, did one of this. Let me go and check in our send. And it gives you a statistic of your message sent to how many of them have received. This was a message sent and uh, if you see that it was sent to four and four of them have received. So this was all about MessageNet connector, which is one of the wonderful tool. And then uh, Power BI content. Click Dimension is listed as a service within Power BI now, which will allow Click Dimension users to connect to the content pack, pack without needing to receive the data file. So let's go ahead, it's logged out.
Hobi ya. Over here. Click dimension reports. So you don't need to uh, you know pull data from anywhere. It automatically does because of the content map available. So right now you can see that it is showing visit visits by refer type, like email, direct traffic, search engine, and then visit by referred type over a, a time. And then we have also got visit by IP locations, like you'll be able to know what particular type of data is coming from where, which particular continent or which particular con country. So guys, uh, that was all for today's webinar with regards to the campaign automation message net connector, C event man, uh, integration with click dimension, and Power BI content pack. So if you guys have any particular questions, you can always post. And we'll wait for a couple of minutes. So uh, anyways, if you guys have any particular question, you can always contact us on our website or you can send an email to info at cloudfilms.com or you can go to our twitter.com uh, account and uh, post information hashtag us cloudfronts or you can also visit to our channel on YouTube where you'll be able to get hold of all the videos and webinars done. and or else you can visit our LinkedIn. Thank you so much for joining today's webinar.